Yeah, it's actually hilarious. I never, uh, I never, I never finished school, and now I'm a professor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the RSA Ross Sass Academy. Attendance mandatory. Tuition free. You guys are not paying me. What we're gonna learn today? What a SaaS is, and truth be told, I am here to solve your problems today. You see, I've been in this AI space for some time. You've probably seen me on Greg's podcast, and I get the same question every single time. How do I launch a SaaS? What, what even is a SaaS? And you probably tried all the AI code gen tools, and you're like, I can do a little weekend toy, but I can't get to the finish line. And you know what? I have a solution for you. I have a solution for all of this. As your lovely professor at the astounding R. SA Ross SaaS Academy. But before we get into the solution, I want to talk about what a SaaS is. A SaaS stands for software as a service. You're providing some sort of service through a software and hopefully you're charging for it. If you want to do charity work, God bless you. But here we're talking about how we're going to make some money. And in order for a SaaS to be a SaaS, you need three important things. Authentication and authorization. I'll explain that in a second. Payments, you already know what that is. That's what we want. And a database, not Excel, but sort of like Excel. Now to kind of break this down, authentication is when someone hops on your site, let's say I have a meme generator application and you come on my site and you create an account. That is authentication. In order for me to know who you are, I need to create some sort of system that authenticates you, that checks that you're really you. You might have gone to a website and signed up with Google, with Yahoo, if that even exists. Authorization is giving you specific access. Let's say you sign up, but you haven't paid me yet. And if you ain't paid me, you're not about to use my product. So you can sign up, but until you pay, you can't see a certain part of the site. That's authorization. Payments is you getting paid. And that's what we're here for. Ultimately, we are trying to make money. We're trying to retire our mothers. I know my mom watches the videos. I love you, mom. That's what we want. And a database, probably one of the most important, is where we store all that information, that data, right? Say you have a text note-taking app, and I sign up on your app, and I write my notes. And imagine I close the app, and I come back tomorrow, and all my notes are gone. You need to store the work that I'm doing in your service, and that's where a database comes in. So in order for me to have a SaaS, pay attention, I need authentication and authorization, I need payments, and I need a database. And if you're not a developer, which if you're watching this, you're probably not, it is freaking hard. It is not easy. Even myself as a developer, it does take time to set up a robust system where I am okay with people using the software and paying for it. Now, one thing about authentication, authorization, payments, and database, you've probably heard of a bunch of services providers, right? A lot of people have heard of Superbase, you've heard of Stripe, you've probably heard of Clerk, Convex, and it's very important to realize that these providers do a lot of the hard work. But even setting them up and putting them together is a difficult thing to do for a non-developer. Knowing that this is a big problem for you, you know that I had to cook up a solution. Imagine if something like Temple, which is where I work at, which you should follow by the way, and check out, link is in the description. Imagine if Temple could set up your authentication authorization, either using Clerk or Superbase. Imagine Temple could set up your payments, either using Stripe or Polar. Imagine if Temple can set up your database, either using Convex and Superbase, and it uses all these tools with popular frameworks like React V or Next.js, my favorite one. If you're a developer, you watch my channel, you know I love Next.js. Imagine if Temple could put that all together. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce to you SaaS templates. All right, let's get straight into it. So we're gonna log in, make sure to go to tempo.new and click log in, right? I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to generate an app. And what we're going to do, we, we're, we see the selection area. I'm going to select Next.js. I'm going to use Superbase. And I come to the selection screen. Now, Tempo gives you options, right? If you want to do Vite, Superbase, and Stripe, you can. If you want to do Vite, Clark Convex, and Stripe, you can. If you want to do Vite and nothing, you can. If you want to do Next.js and nothing, you can. If you want to do Next.js and Superbase, you can. If you want to do Next.js, Superbase, and Stripe, you can, and that's what we're going to do. I'm going to click Setup Integrations. Now, I got to connect my Superbase account, my Superbase project, and I got to do some setting up on Stripe. So I'm going to go to Superbase. Make sure to go Superbase.com. If you don't have an account, what are you doing? How are you enrolled in the Ross SAS Academy and you don't have a Superbase account or a Convex account or a Clerk account? You have to have an account with all these providers. Set up your account, then click on Dashboard. Now, with Superbase, you are required to create an organization and under the organization you create a project. I have three of them here as you can see. So I'm going to click on new project 
and then select Exodus Inc. I want my new project to live under Exodus Inc. And this one we'll call it RSA, standing for Ross SAS Academy. And we're going to create a password. And I'm going to click create a new project. And we are ready to go. Now I'm just going to click on project status. You can see um, when your project is ready. Once all these things except real time, because I think they're having some issues, lights up green. We are ready to connect our project. Doom, 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 doom. Hosanna forever. We worship you. Angels bow down at the thought of you. All right. So we got all green check marks, which means we're ready to go. We're going to go back to tempo and we're going to click on connect super base. A pop up is going to pop up or a new tab, depending on what browser you're using. I'm going to remember the organization I selected Exodus Inc. I'm going to authorize tempo to select the project from Exodus Inc. And boom, I'm brought back to tempo. I'm going to select the RSA project because that was the one I was. That, that's the one I made. That's the one I want to build with. And I'm going to click connect and we are ready to go. Our super base project is connected. Now we have to set up Stripe. There's some keys we have to pass by and there's some setup we have to do. Super simple. I'm going to show you how first go to stripe.com, create an account. Once you've created an account, make sure you're on test mode. You don't want to build your application. Um, without test mode, because what if you mess up? What if you test it? Imagine paying actual money every time you test, paying Stripe their fee and waiting for that money to be deposited in your account. Do not be that bozo. Turn test mode on. And once you turn test mode on, you're going to go to search and you're going to search API keys. And once you search API keys, you're going to see publishable key and a secret key. We're going to go back to tempo. We're going to see we need a publishable key, a secret key and a webhook secret. So let's copy these two first. I'll copy the publishable key, pasted it here. Perfect. Let's copy the secret key. We're going to paste that here as well. Perfect. And then what we're going to do, you see webhooks right here. And if you don't see it for some reason, you can search it, right? Super simple. You click on webhooks. And what you're going to do is you're going to add an endpoint. You're going to go back to tempo. And it's going to tell you here, copy this URL for the Stripe webhook. So I'm going to copy this by clicking. I copy it. I see the toast notification right there. I go back to Stripe. I paste this and then I select events. Listen, for ease of use, just select all of them and then click add events. And we'll scroll all the way down and we're going to click add endpoint. So now we have our webhook set up, but there's one thing we got to copy this signing secret. You're going to click reveal and boom, it's right there. You just copy it and you paste it. How easy was that? That was simple and fast and efficient. This is why Tempo is amazing. One thing you'll see here, it says you have six Stripe plans to set up in this project. I have six Stripe plans. Now, the one thing that we force you to do low key is we force you to create a product, right? So when you test your template, you can test out the, temp uh, the payments right away. I've created like six of them to create one. Just go to product catalog, click create product and just create something random. In fact, I'll do it right now. RSA uh, uh, membership. This is for distinguished alumni. Um, this will cost uh, $50,000 uh, a month. And we're just going to add this right here, $50,000 a month. And if I go back to Temple, remember I had six. If I refresh, I now have seven. Setup is good. I'm going to click Setup Integrations. And look at us. We are ready to build our SaaS. Now, I don't know about you. I want to build a meme generator. So I'm going to say meme generator SAS. I can't really think of anything else. I'm tired of to do list. I'm tired of no taking app. It's all the same thing. Let's have some fun. Let's vibe code. I'm building a, me a meme generator website. So it's loading up. What's cool about tempo is I have a PRD, right? This is what product people do. I have user flow being built out a mermaid diagram and check this out. My super base project is being set up. I already connected Superbase to Temple, so Temple is taking charge right now and building out the things that I need. If I go to the Superbase uh, site and I go to my project and I click on table editor, look at the new tables that just came out of nowhere. I didn't write these. I didn't create these myself. Temple did this for me. And if I go to edge functions, I'll see some edge functions created here. And these are going to help me with my payments. And this is why Temple is so amazing. Look at that in just a few. My template is set up. I have payments. Look at all the products I created. I have this sleek landing page, which you can customize and make look good to your heart's content. 
and I have authentication. So guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to create an account right now. Click sign up. And you know what? Let's just I'll use my work email. Please do not spam my work email. I will report you. And OK, signing up, creating an account. Don't want to save my password. All right. Thanks for signing up. Please check your email. And I'm going to check my email, but I'm not going to show you me logging into my email. Perfect. I see this confirmation email, which, by the way, you can uh, you can change up if you go to authentication and then you go to emails. You can do a lot of customizations here, right? You could do preview. This is all on the super base side of things. You can even change the uh, redirect URL. There's a lot you can do here. So go through this, test it out, have fun. I'm just going to confirm my email. I confirm my email. Let's see if sign up actually works. I'm going to enter my password. I'm going to hit sign in. Would you look at that? I'm authenticated. I'm authenticated. I know this because I can sign out. And if I click on dashboard, it takes me to pricing because I haven't paid. And ladies and gents, we're doing a big I'm paying the big bucks, $50,000 a month. I'm going to click get started. I'm brought here. I'm going to use a fake uh, test credit card from Stripe 42, 42, 42. You have to do that. And then the rest, you can just enter random jargon and subscribe. I'm paying 50 bands a month for my RSA distinguished alumni membership. And let's see if this setup works, if this template works. My payment is successful and I know it's successful because if I go back to the home page and I click on dashboard, I now have access to the dashboard page. But let's go to Superbase. Let's click on table editor and let's click on when we click on subscriptions, you see the subscription table has an entry status active. If we go to users table, look at that. Whose email is that? Your SaaS template, ladies and gents, comes with auth comes with payments, comes with a DB. All you have to do now is go back to Tempo and start building your project. You see me, I am letting the agent build out my meme generator. I don't have to worry about payments. I don't have to worry about auth. I don't have to worry about setting up a DB. Why waste tokens when Tempo has already done the work for you? The cool part is, is if you need to deploy further edge functions, if you need to build more tables, Tempo does that for you too. Look, running SQL migration, building out migrations file, deploying edge functions, writing edge functions, deploying edge functions. Tempo does it all literally. While Tempo's cooking, let me show you some cool things, right? You can click on PRD and you can actually edit your PRD, right? This is your product roadmap. You can add visual context here. You can see the user floats built out for you. This isn't just a chat app where you can just pr you just prompt it to do things, right? There's a lot of things that Tempo does for you, right? It says dev server not running. I just reload my dev server. I took a little pause to drink some water. That's why it, it stopped running. But yeah, I can go to code and I have access to the code base, right? So if you're a developer, you can actually edit the code here. You can write code here. And then we get this sick preview. We have this sick design tab. I can literally drag and drop components. I can see the components all here. It's actually insane how good um, Tempo is. You can create a repository connecting with GitHub. You can import your Figma designs onto Tempo. If you haven't created an account, go go right now. Link in the description. All right, let's see what Tempo has generated. So I see my landing page again. OK, all right. There's some images I have to fill in here. That's no problem. And I'm going to go to create meme and oh, OK, I see. OK, I see I see I have templates, but then I have a canvas. Can I upload an image? There's oh, OK, I have this meme image that I plan to use and Okay, add text. Um, tempo users. And can I like, oh, okay. Okay. And I can, oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Cool. So far, we're loving it. I'm going to go back to tempo and I'm going to say uh, download function. Please implement download functionality. Again, I'm going to use reasoning so it can just get it right. So I'm just going to upload the same meme. I won't even do nothing. I just want to click download. And there, listen, folks, is how good tempo is. Folks, that's simply I was able to build a SaaS. Now, the point wasn't me trying to show you how to build a meme generator. The point was for me to show you how easy it is to set up the hard part, payments, 
auth and a db you can easily now do that with tempo so what does that leave you building the product which is what you want which is what you love which is what you're supposed to do we've taken care of the hard stuff for you i built this for you go out build enjoy tempo.new it's waiting for you link in the description i can't wait to see what you build